Hi folks, welcome to the Conan Fitness Exercise of the Month. This month we're reviewing bench press, staple exercise, very popular exercise, really good for building strength and, and obviously um, uh, fitness gains in the upper body. Uh, we're going to look at some correct ways to do it to maximise strength gains, um, some common faults that uh, when it's done wrong it can promote quite bad uh, posture um, and aggravate shoulder injuries, um, like exacerbate um, inflammation etc in the shoulder joint uh, and done correctly it can help promote po uh, good posture so quite a contrast um, the first thing we're going to do is look at the setup you'll see that uh, in the bench press we're going to set up with our shoulder blades pinned back and we're ideally going to keep it that way throughout the motion the saying in sports conditioning is you can't shoot a cannon from a canoe basically the premise being if you shoot um, uh, a certain force from an unstable object the base or the, the object will move rather than the force being uh, propelled in the direction you want it. Same thing, if our shoulder girdle or our shoulder blades move during the motion, um, then we're losing force. That's like the canoe moving and our first output is decreased. Kind of like running in sand. If you run and push off in the sand and the sand moves, you're decreasing your forward force output. So let's have a look at our setup first and foremost. What we've got here is a standard bench press setup. That's it. Um, what we've got is uh, we're going to get Paul to have his chest nice and tall. His shoulder blades are pinned down, almost like they're pinned to the bench there. Um, and you notice that he's got a, a grip only just outside shoulder width. A lot of people go towards the ends of the bar, a very wide grip, thinking that they're working more chest, but really they're just decreasing their force output because the strongest path of motion will be somewhere in a strong zone, like you're pushing someone away from you. So let's just start with a nice, easy range of motion there, Paul. He's going to lower the bar down to around about nipple level, maybe just above on the chest. Try and get full range of motion, so it's right down onto the chest, and obviously pushing up, breathing out as he pushes the bar straight back up to the sky. What you'll notice is that um, the angle of Paul's elbows is they're actually quite relaxed. You'll see there's almost a 45 degree angle between his shoulder joint and where his humerus is, the upper arm. And if you can see that angle, what we don't want to see, if you can give this a shot, Paul, let the elbows flare like some people will commonly do. So the elbows flare. You can see they're straight out in line with the shoulders now, and sometimes even behind the shoulders, and that's not what we're after. We're going to lose a lot of force, uh, and we're going to cause quite a lot of impingement in that shoulder joint. So let's just relax them, point them slightly forward, and go for again. Fantastic, and that's a much better force output, better for the health of the shoulders, better for strength gains um, and hypertrophy gains if that's what you're after. And finally, if you have a look at the path of motion of this bar from Paul's chest up, you'll notice that it actually has a slight arc up and backwards, just slightly, and that's the natural path of, mo path of motion that you should see. If you look at the powerlifters, they've got quite a close grip and they're pushing up and back. It's quite pronounced when you see them do it because that's actually the strongest path of motion. It's only ever so, so slight. Uh, when you're doing it, it'd probably be even less than this. We're just doing it so you can see it. But that's the strongest path of motion and that's how um, bench press is executed most effectively for, for, for best effect. You can hold there, buddy. So that's it, folks. Give the bench press a try. Um, remember the key pointers and all the best in your strength gains.